Hi, welcome back to John Rocco Storytime. Today I'm going to read you another book that I wrote and illustrated called Blizzard. One day, when I was a young boy, nearly four feet of snow fell from the sky. This is my story. The first flake fell right before recess, Monday. It was followed by many, many more. The wind whipped up and school closed early. Yay! By the time my sister and I got home, the snow was nearly over our boots. The snow continued to fall through the night, and I thought it would never stop. Tuesday. The next morning, the snow drifts were so high, we couldn't open our front door, so we went out the window instead. Be careful. We laughed as we sank deep into the frozen powder, but walking was hard. It was like trying to move through white quicksand. Every few steps I had to stop and rest. It was even too deep for our sled. We need sled dogs. Welcome back, explorers. When we went back inside, we were cold, wet, and tired. We made camp by the wood stove, and our feet tingled as we sipped hot cocoa made with milk. Wednesday. On the third day, Dad shoveled the driveway so he could get the car out when the snow plows came. We dug tunnels and secret rooms under the snow. An igloo can keep you warm in sub-zero temperatures. What's an igloo? Thursday. By day four, the plows still hadn't come. We wondered if we'd ever see grass again. Inside, things got tense as our food started to run out. I knew we couldn't survive much longer on cocoa made with milk. Blech. We need to get to the store, but the roads aren't plowed, and we certainly can't walk through this. Friday. On day five, I realized it was up to me to take action. I was the only one who had memorized the survival guide. I was the only one who knew what equipment was required. I was the only one light enough to walk on top of the snow. On day six, I made a list, Saturday. Milk, bread, eggs, candy bar. I prepared the sled and then I set off. My usual landmarks were covered by snowdrifts, candles, but I managed to check in with my neighbors on my long journey. Cat food, coffee, peanut butter, okay. And then here we have an illustration, a very large illustration, that shows the journey from his house to the store. And he stops many times along the way. Let's see if I can get this 
whole thing in here. I checked in with my neighbors. I went the wrong way. Helped build a snowman, climbed a lookout, made an angel, explored an igloo, joined a snowball fight. I made it. At last, I had reached the store. I was tired, hungry, and chilled to the bone, but I couldn't think about myself. I was on a mission. Are you going to carry all this by yourself? Yes, sir. I've got my sled. Yes, he's on his way back now. On the return trip, I raced to drop off the groceries before the sun went down. Wow. Meow. Grateful smiles and cheers gave me the energy I needed to make it back home. Woof. That night, we all had hot cocoa made with milk, and it had never tasted better. It was a perilous journey, but there was something else we still needed. Snow plows, Sunday. It looked as though we would see civilization again after all. I guess we'll have to go back to school tomorrow. Boo. Thank heaven, I was going stir crazy. We had survived the blizzard. The end. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this book, Blizzard, and please check out some of my other videos where I read some of my other books. Have a great day.